Y'all think y'all perfect. That's why y'all so surprised by so-called flaws. You know, and that really show where y'all mindset at. You know what I'm saying? It really show how y'all were so brainwashed and programmed and how y'all really accepted this perfect shit. You know what I'm saying? The fact that y'all actually do think that there's parts of you that's perfect. And that's why you, oh my gosh, my teeth, my lips, my some features, some this, this, and that. They ain't nothing perfect on me. You know what I'm saying? Do I think me isn't beautiful? Do I think I'm ugly? Do I know? No. But it's the fact that, you know, we've allowed, we've created and allowed and kept pushing this, you know, narrative of perfect. And that is the beautiful. That's the, what you're striving for. So people, you know, get surgery, people you know, do certain things to themselves. People hate themselves. People, you know, do all these things to try to once again chase something that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. See, because of me, I feel perfect is something that everybody agrees with. And I would just be perfect within, you know, our world, this, this, and that. That would be something everybody agrees with. So you go on a so-called fix your nose, and now you feel it's perfect. There's somebody who disagrees. It's not perfect. You know what I'm saying? And that's just being in that perspective. You know what I'm saying? Because... As far as, you know, me and what I know, I don't think there's anything within this world that every fucking body agrees with. I don't think there's one thing. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's why I say, you know, check your vocabulary, you know, make changes, you know, because, you know, it's, 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 it's terrible, you know, saying, you know, oh, no, you're perfect. You know what I'm saying? Telling people they're perfect. You know, why Why do that? You know what I'm saying? When it doesn't exist, why lie? Why, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, just because you agree with something, you know what I'm saying? Say you do, you, you paint something and you like it's perfect. It's not. You just feel that that's fucking beautiful. So say it's beautiful. Because somebody who can walk by and see it, they might not think it's beautiful. So therefore, it's not perfect. They may not like this. They may not like that. This, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? But it's the fact that that's y'all mental that y'all go, oh, a flaw. Oh my gosh, a flaw. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's really, you know, it's really odd cuz it's like I mean, what's a flaw? You know what I'm saying? Because sure, you know, something that's out of order, something that's been messed up, something that you don't like for the most part, don't agree with, but it's like, where is that coming from? You know what I'm saying? If it was just you here, would you even 
you know, see a reflection of yourself and think these things? Would you go and look like my teeth are flawed? Or is it because people have said crooked teeth is not pretty? It's not beautiful. And did you go see all these people? Go get fake teeth. Go get their teeth straight and have braces. Get, you know, Invisalign, all these things. You know, so when you look in the mirror and you don't have those straight teeth, you go, I'm flawed. You know, and that's just like, that's you basing your appearance off of others. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, once again, I say, you know, it starts with you. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it doesn't help that they're showing that example and leading by that example but you know you gotta accept you and you gotta you know be able to say I'm beautiful you know be able to agree with the way you look be able to understand that there's no there's no this perfect there's no reason for trying to chase this perfect you know the hate celebrities get is crazy. And all of them hide how they truly feel for their supporters. I mean, and it's really hard because it's constant. It's like we all have something going on no matter who you are. But for some reason, humans create all these things to separate us and make it seem as if some are human and some are not. Or like money or fame takes away the pain or feelings or some, I don't know the logic they're using, but it's not cool. And put yourself in their shoes from the experiences, you know, and see if you like it. Obviously you won't truly know, but that helps. And also celebs being, you know, honest and transparent about how they feel about things can really put shit in perspective for people. Can't be afraid of the couple of haters out of all the supporters and the people you can possibly help and most important, the piece of you doing what you want. You know what I'm saying? We, we as humans, I feel we must, you know, we have these feelings, we have these emotions, and I feel we must express them. You know what I'm saying? We, we must express them. And if we've, you know, allowed ourselves to be seen in a way, if we've allowed you know, certain people to care and support for us. You know what I'm saying? We must be honest with them. We must, we must, you know, you must be doing for you. You know what I'm saying? And you doing for you, regardless if it's on camera, regardless if it's this, this and that, you're gonna be expressing your emotions, expressing how you feel, you know what I'm saying? Doing what you want, this is that, speaking on things because that's you and that's that peace that you have, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, when it comes to a certain extent of, you know, you allowing yourself to be seen in a certain way and, you know, people who come along and they, you know, do support you, you know what I'm saying? Then it is like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you have these people who care and support for you and you have to express yourself, you know what I'm saying? And if they care and support for you, they don't want you to express yourself how they may, how you think they may want you to be. No, because when you were just doing you and all of a sudden these people started supporting you out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? That was just you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I brought up the, you know, the haters or this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? Because those few people have now restricted you. Has now, you now given them the power and allowed yourself to disconnect from the people that support you you know, that care for you, you now have closed yourself off because 
of a few other people that, you know, say these things, you know, which may be so hurtful, which may be, you know, this, this and that, but you've explored your truth and you are exploring your truth and you're, you're comfortable with that. You're working on your comfortability. You're working on accepting and have accepted some things you, and you, you have these supporters, you know what I'm saying? And you can definitely address, you know what I'm saying? Those certain people and how to, you know, how to be kind and how to not be so rude. And, you know, with you expressing yourself to your supporters, you, you know, express how they do hurt you. You know what I'm saying? But see, you aren't expressing to those haters. You hurt me. No, no, no. You're just expressing what you're feeling to your supporters. You know what I'm saying? How you're feeling hurt by these, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? And you also, when you do address, you make sure, you know, hey, I'm saying this because they hurt me from being hateful, bashing. So you let them know, you know what I'm saying? If y'all are going to go keep them in check or keep certain people in check, don't be hateful. Don't bash, you know, be kind, you know, lead by example. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're hurting from them and now you're hurting from them because they're going to be rude. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's not what you wanted. And you don't want that type of, you know, responsibility of those people going to do that. You know what I'm saying? But you cannot control others. You know what I'm saying? So there's going to be some people who just feel they must go be hateful and this and that. And you have to address that. You know what I'm saying? But this comes with responsibility. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sure, maybe, you know, later on, this, this, and that, you can just be on the internet, whatever. But if you're going to allow yourself to be seen in that way, you have to understand the attention you receive and the responsibility you have. You know what I'm saying? And if you aren't, then, you know, you aren't doing for you and all those people who are looking at you, whether they support you or not, you know, you aren't doing for them. You know, and if you aren't doing for you, then you're fucking them. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, what, what does that do? I saw on TikTok, this guy made a relapse button or app for people struggling with drug abuse or alcohol. And that's reasonable and smart. It's not as easy staying sober and just expecting people to stop is crazy. They will want to do it multiple times. But like he said, the app has like all your info, your sponsor or emergency contact and can call 911. And since you're trying not to relapse or overdose, you can't be arrested or something like that. Obviously all depend, everything's situational. But I just thought it was really cool. I just think it's dope. And it's somebody who goes through it or went through it. Like, we can help and make the world easier for each other. Don't need government and higher-ups to do it. Yeah, because that person, you know what I'm saying, when they were explaining it, you know what I'm saying, they they talked about, you know, they their experience. You know what I'm saying? And they talked about, you know, they were, they've been clean for a while or this, is that, you know what I'm saying? That was a while ago, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, you know, when I say, you know, it's, 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 it's you, you know what I'm saying? You have this experience within, you know, this thing and you know, you know, what helped you, you know, what helped others or this, this and that, or what could have helped or, you know what I'm saying? So we can, you know, express, we can definitely help others. We can, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's a huge fucking thing. You know, and they did that all themselves. They did the coding and, you know what I'm saying? I say, you know, all themselves, you know, they may have helped this, this, and that. But regardless, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have to be this person with a certain degree to do coding. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have to, you know, have this certain, you know, knowledge to, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, you know, they had knowledge within that area. And they're using that knowledge you know what I'm saying? To help others. You know what I'm saying? And that's what and that's what I say. You know what I'm saying? We can't expect. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we like, okay, send them to rehab, but who in that rehab facility 
you know, to my knowledge of certain rehab facilities has had previous experience with drug abuse, with alcohol, with, you know what I'm saying? Like, really? Like, I mean, where is the relate? Where is the, you know what I'm saying? Like, do they, do they really know what that feels like? You know what I'm saying? Do they really understand what the fuck they're going through? You know what I'm saying? So it's like to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not like, you know, you're trying to understand this and that. That rehab is because them motherfuckers know. And that is the brick wall. That is the help. That is that is it. You go to rehab because you going to get off this shit. So, you know, if they can't be the ultimate help, the ultimate brick wall, the ultimate... I know what you going through. You know what I'm saying? The ultimate, okay, I'm going to allow you to fuck up. I'm going to allow you to go do this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's also what it takes. You know what I'm saying? We, we, you know, some people love to, you know, really like for the most part to really just like, no, no, you gonna, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, we have no control over others, you know? So sometimes they're, you know, that's what we try to do, you know, because some have went through certain experiences. So we try to help others not go through those certain experiences. But it's like some people have to go through those experiences, especially when they're in a mental space of, I'm never gonna get sober. Why would I get sober? You know what I'm saying? Why would I feel like shit and be sober? Why would I just be high? Why would not just be drunk? Why would I do that? You know what I'm saying? And they need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, getting some experience and life knock them on their ass. They need that. And that may not be it, but they need some. And you, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's there somewhere. You know what I'm saying? But you being someone they can go to, you, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Like I say, it's very situational. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not just saying, you know, be on the, let them on, let, let them off the leash and just go. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, I do, I, I did say ultimate brick wall, ultimate help. You know what I'm saying? So. Like I say, shit is situational, you know? And that 911 shit, listen, you know what I'm saying? I also feel, I mean, we can, you know what I'm saying? Listen, you know, people OD and this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, if, like I say, those people in the hospital, those are humans. So if they can figure it out, you know, that we don't, listen, like I said, we don't have to do all these years of school to know how to do shit they do in the hospital, I'm sorry. They learn a whole bunch of shit that they don't fucking use at all. That's just formality shit. You know what I'm saying? They get in one fucking zone and area, and then that's it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, there's a lot within that, but it's like that's more of experience type shit. Once they get in that fucking place and start seeing shit and start doing shit, then that's where everything really kicks in. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... I feel, I mean, fuck 911 because that shit is money and that shit is like, you know what I'm saying? So we should be able to, you know, it should be some people on a different rotation, you know what I'm saying, who are willing to volunteer or whatever and, you know, be ready to, you know, help and, you know, learn how to, you know, treat certain things and this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, help with, you know, withdrawals i mean because withdrawals are very i mean that shit is on another level you know what i'm saying and you know they could be given something to kind of ease those withdrawals and kind of just fucking because i mean the body is going through the withdrawals and yes you are your body but i mean you know what i'm saying like it's like your body can still go through it if you're not you know <laughs> if you're not like fucking just you know, constantly there, or if you're, if the pain is suppressed, you know, the signal is sent to your mind and the pain is suppressed, but it's still going through it and still, you know, dealing with the shit. So it's like, you know, but I, I just think that shit is really, 
you know, really cool, you know what I'm saying, for a person who's dealt with it and who's willing to, you know, help and really go there. Now, creators on social media, if you are basing your mental health on an app or the comment section, please go on that journey of loving yourself. Because what somebody says in a comment section should not affect you in the way it is. And start speaking up on how you feel. Stop not saying nothing that be like, I'm so sad. Like, just do what you want on social media. Some start labeling y'all selves, then you get known for one thing and stick to it. You're many things and can do other stuff whenever. You're the one who's messing you up mentally, but instead of realizing it's you, you blame others. Like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. You know what I'm saying? And if you deal, if you do feel like those moments, there's moments where it is other people or this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, express that shit, but don't, you know, I've been dealing with all this and, you know, now it's just to a point like, no, fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? You, you has, you've said nothing, you know what I'm saying? And now it's like, oh my gosh, you know, this, this, and that, like, no, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, and that's, you know, a big thing with so certain people on social media, you know, they, since it's, I mean, you know, firstly, since it's such based off of, you know, people trying to make money and trying to gain this following, they try to find their thing. They try to find the thing that people connect with and that people want to see and this, this and that. And because that's their foundation of trying to make money, trying to gain a following, this, this and that, they tend to stick to it. You know what I'm saying? Anytime they try to go away from it, they really can't because that foundation of, will this, you know, how much money would this make me? You know, what are the interactions like? This, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? What are people saying? You know, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it gets fucked when you try to go outside of that thing that made you famous. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just that's just you mentally. You know what I'm saying? And you're just doing it to yourself. And sure, it could, you know, show up on the thing. But I feel like that's just even better. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you went from a million to 50,000, you know what I'm saying, views or this, this, and that. Those fucking 50,000 people is who I'm rocking with. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's who I want. I want that genuine connection. I want the people who are there, you know what I'm saying, and who are just supporting me and you know what I'm saying like there for me and allowing me to do things I want to do and this this and that you know what I'm saying and like those million people like that's only cool because so called money because so called society and followers and this. like I'm not worrying about those millions to a certain extent because when I went over here and did this thing that I wanted to do they were nowhere to be found so it's like, where's the support? You know what I'm saying? And that's not like, oh, they just didn't like it for the most part. This, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Because to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? Sure. You know what I'm saying? There's things others are not going to like. Sure. And there's supporters who are going to support you who not going to like everything you do. Sure. You know what I'm saying? That is, that is, obvious but when we're talking about consecutive videos or when we're just talking about that one video million to fifty thousand listen my math is but that ratio what's that a fucking million and uh million and fifty Listen, I don't know. It's a lot of fucking people. And you know what I'm saying? So that's like, who was just here because I was on this so-called wave? Because I was the so-called trend, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, people do that to themselves. You know what I'm saying? They say, you know, hey, I, I just got to be this thing. I just got to keep doing this thing. And they just keep doing it because that they're telling themselves that. You know what I'm saying? And of course, there's interaction because, you know what I'm saying? You've already seen that's what people like. 
You know what I'm saying? And you don't seem to want to do anything else. So they're not going to be like, do something else. Because, I mean, they enjoy it. And they don't want to be like, do something else. And you're like, well, I thought y'all liked it. You know what I'm saying? They're like, well, I do like this. But, you know what I'm saying? They're just like, you can do something else. And now you're like, you know what I'm saying? But you don't know. Because you won't go do something else. Because when you did try that one time, it was that drop. It was this and that. It was people saying this and that. So you just, uh, you know, got all, you know, scared, got, you know, sad, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, this is what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? And people who support me, you know, for me and this, this, and that, you know, they're going to go along with me on this journey. You know what I'm saying? And we'll, you know, figure shit out together and we'll do this together. But, I mean, those other people, you know what I'm saying? It was dope while, you know, they were there. But, you know, maybe they were just there for that content. Maybe they were just there because that was the hype. This is that. You know what I'm saying? But, but that's not me. You know what I'm saying? That's just what I was doing during that time. And I thought it was dope. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm moving on. Now I'm doing other things. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not that thing that made you famous. You're not that thing that people are relating you as. You're not, you know what I'm saying? That's not you. You know what I'm saying? It's the fact that you're practicing it, practicing it so much. You're telling yourself that so much. You're seeing it so much and allowing yourself to say and believe that, that that's you. You know what I'm saying? And that's who you're known as. And you're no different than that. And you'll always be known as that. Like, you know, that's not, that, that's not the case. Y'all celebs could make y'all own award show and give it as much power as y'all give the Grammys. But y'all don't. Y'all praise those awards even though some of y'all feel it's rigged every year. But still go and give it more power. Fuck them. Trophies seeking validation through a fucking trophy? That trophy don't make what you did better or mean more. It shouldn't. Because when you did that thing, you thought it was hard and enough. People supporting you thought it was hard and enough. Y'all keep forgetting who got the power. If nobody showed up or paid attention to the Grammys, it wouldn't happen. But it seemed like y'all puppets or just kids speaking out to their parents but have but have to do it anyways because they make you slave mas because they make you slave master shit all the same. It's, I mean the similarities is 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 it's I mean I'm telling y'all this is foundational shit. You know what I'm saying? This is strictly the simplest foundational shit. And it has been this way since way back. I couldn't even tell you when. You know, like, and, and it's the fact that y'all don't understand that. And it's the fact that y'all so-called do, you're not willing to make that decision. You're not willing to because of obligation, because of your team, because of this, 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 and that, because somebody won't hire you, because it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? What about you? What about people? What about this fuck system? What about, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just, you, 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 in a sense of, you know, your job, in a sense of your image, in a sense of this and that, but you're not you. What about you and what you're feeling? You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? That's also a huge thing. You know what I'm saying? The way... You're yourself, and then you allow yourself to be seen in a way, what I was just talking about, and then now people say you're this, and you're kind of this online thing, and you're kind of yourself thing, and they're too different. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, how do you allow that? You know what I'm saying? That's what, you know, when I was speaking on the not opening up, not doing this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? That's why some do view you, view you as you know, not a human or this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, fuck the mindset of theirs, you know what I'm saying? But you don't do a great job of, hey, this is me, I'm human. You know, you do a great job of online and then this is you, you know what I'm saying? And and that's fuck, you know what I'm saying? But like, y'all don't understand. Don't nobody show up to them fucking Grammys, to them fucking Academy Awards, to them. It doesn't happen. 
that so big Grammy thing that everybody strives for and this is that, it's done. It's gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like I say, all the money y'all have, all the people y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Just as far as like cash and crew and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could easily run that shit up every whatever. Easily run that shit up. And people would actually fucking be there. And people would actually come and y'all could do it y'all way and this, this, and that. Like, y'all could easily, you know, everybody can still easily watch it. Everybody can, or it can just be y'all shit. Or it doesn't matter. It's whatever y'all want. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that whole award show thing, I, I feel it's fucked. Because how are we comparing? You know what I'm saying? Like, like really, like, what are we comparing? How does out of those five actors, how does one get a trophy? How? Different film, different situations, different cast and crew, different everything. Different, everything's different. What are we comparing? Like, what are we comparing? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just, like, on, like, some real genuine shit. Like, what are we comparing? You know what I'm saying? And it's just, like, it's, like, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, you know, that first actor, when they read that script, when they did this and that, when they got ready, they went to go get do that fucking role. They gave it they all. That second actor gave it they fucking all. That third actor gave it they fucking all. That fourth actor gave it they fucking all. That fifth actor gave it they fucking all. All five of y'all motherfuckers gave it y'all fucking all. And you knew that. The cast and crew knew that. Everybody who saw that motherfucker knew that to a certain extent of motherfuckers. They knew that. That's it. That's it. When that fucking composer made that, composed that fucking music, they all knew they fucking gave it they all. When those directors directed that fucking film, series, whatever the fuck, they knew they fucking gave it they all. When that writer ripped that shit, they knew they, when they, they knew that, when they, they knew that, everybody fucking knew they gave it they fucking all. They knew that. And if they didn't, they dealing with that shit on their own. They trying to figure this shit out. Damn, that's me. This, 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 that. Oh, let's wait. Let's wait till the award show. Did we give it our all? Is it is it the best? I don't. I don't know. Oh, we got nominated. Yes, we must have done something right. Oh, we won. Well, you, I, I can't believe it. We did give her all we this we done great. This is the best we delusional. Makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like you know, as far as you know, a macro thing, it's like what about those other films, what about those other series that other people are making and just because they don't have those big names, because they don't have this big production, just because they don't have you know, the finances to promote it to you know, a certain extent this, this, and that, what about those? You know what I'm saying, where's their trophy, where, you know what I'm saying like, if we're gonna, you know, it's like how is it, you know what I'm saying and then it goes into money it goes into ratings it goes into you know what i'm saying like and it's like it's not so much about the work itself but the art that's being presented because how can i say this art deserves this trophy and this art doesn't because i don't give a fuck if oh all the arts deserve it i don't give a fuck oh you weren't nominated you still just no. Through the system of what the fuck y'all didn't set up, 
The motherfuckers got nominated. Their art seems to be worth it. Everybody else, your art was shit. Your art was shit. Didn't fucking like it. Whoever got that fucking trophy, your art was it. Matter of fact, the other four of y'all, y'all art was shit. If you didn't fucking win that trophy, then what is your art? It's not about, no, this is what it is. and this, There's none of that shit. When you set a certain system, this is what the fuck it is. That's it. And you can't go. These are the nominees. Fuck everybody else. You're the winner. Fuck y'all. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. What? Here are the five nominees for the fucking best record of the year. All the other records, fuck y'all. That y'all went in the studio and did what? You know what I'm saying? And like that that's the disrespect I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? But once again, I don't feel like people feeling that disrespect for some reason. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, if you gonna go fuck you, then go fuck you. You can't go fuck you, fuck the Grammys, this, 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 and that, and then I got nominated. <laughs> I performed at the Grammys. I went to the Grammys. I watch the Grammys, I shout it out, whatever, I, nah, bro. you know what I'm saying, like, I, I, I truly feel that, you know what I'm saying, once again, you know what I'm saying, like, as far as that Grammy, Academy Award, this, this, and that go, as far as who the fuck is judging this shit, man, how many of them have been in the film, how many of them have been in the series, how many of them has given it they fucking all, how many, so it's like, once again, the ones who are fucking doing it and giving they fucking all should be the ones in control of the shit. Like, simple as that. Like, I don't... I ought not to credit others. Y'all obsession over numbers is wild. Talking about posts and videos flopping, how many people you had watching you before? Zero. Now you got one. But on other videos, you get 10. So when it's under 10, it's flopping. Like, your point shouldn't be for the views. Should be because you want to post it. It's tough. You know what I'm saying? It's tough that that's, that's what people's mindset is at. I want to get famous. I want to make money off of this. I want to do this, 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 and that. And then, and then you really see how uncivilized these civilized people are. You see it. You know what I'm saying? Off of this system, out of this money shit. They know. Once again, they giving y'all the ammo. And y'all locking and loading and spraying that hoe. They know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see how competitive people get it, how ugly and nasty they get it, how toxic they get it. Trying to get some fucking numbers. The fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? First sentence, not crediting other people. Trying to take people's shit. And then you took they shit, now you got a certain amount of numbers. What about them? If somebody gonna get numbers, it should be them, right? That's they art, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's wild. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. And just how you comparing that shit Oh, I got I got ten views. Hey, my next one I got I got three. What the fuck? Oh my! I 
I got this idea to make this video. This shit is dope. This, this, and that. Through the process of that whole, you know what I'm saying? That shit was dope. I just finished this shit. Let me watch this hoe. That shit is hard as fuck. Man, let me post this hoe. That's what it's about, bro. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? It's not about, oh shit, this got a million views. Oh shit, this got two views. Oh shit, people love it. Oh shit, people hate it. Oh, this result shit y'all so into. Results. You know how many motherfuckers hate the process? They trying to get to the result. They trying to see this. They trying to see that. Man. This, this where all the magic happened. You know what I'm saying? Like getting the idea, figuring it out, this, this, and that. Then you, you know, doing it, figuring it out, processing, you up and down, struggling. You got it, you figured it out, you adapted, this, this, and that. That's where it's at. That's where it sat. And then, yeah. All that fucking work, yeah. We didn't put it together, yeah. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's the result? The motherfuckers are passing. The motherfuckers are manipulating to not be the result. And they're saying this is the result, the views, the people like it or not, this, this, and that. No, this was the result. But this result, if this over here was shitty, you fucking hated it? What is this result? I don't give a fuck how beautiful this came out. It doesn't fucking matter. You fucking hated the process. You fucking hated the process. So are you gonna go 20 years of hating the process because this result came out beautiful. What about you? What about you? And that's, you know what I'm saying? There's a way to do everything. There's a way to go about everything. You know what I'm saying? You could love the art that you create, but you cannot sacrifice yourself to a certain extent within it. You can't lose your, you, I mean, you know, it's you, it's you are it. You are with you all the, there's no getting rid of you. There's no getting rid of you. So sure. You can have those moments where, uh, I'm making this art, uh. It's worth it. Uh. But even when you're in those moments with your art, you still have moments where it's just you. And you fucking hate it. You hate yourself. You know, you, you hate yourself. I don't know. Saying someone hot is okay. It basically covers everything, but saying your throat is lonely or all that shit y'all be saying is out of line. We trying to stop certain people from sexual sex, from sexually abusing women in the natural world, but now y'all bring it to online and everyone is being sexualized. Doesn't matter if those people are naked on screen. Doesn't mean you can say nasty stuff and be weird as fuck and be odd as fuck. It's very uncomfortable as majority of women know from in the natural world. Let's not further the behavior. What you do with the video or post, shit, I don't know. But do that on your own. Stop letting the feeling of, of being horny control you big. 
You know what I'm saying? Listen, within the journey, within us figuring this shit out, within this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Listen, what you do with that post, what you do with that video on your own, listen, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Later on, well, you know what I'm saying? But the thing we got to move away from right now is y'all fucking sexualizing people. Is y'all fucking seeing people as an object. Is y'all fucking seeing some feeling this horniness and wanting to express a certain thing. Wanting to, you know... I mean, I don't even know. I don't, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what that, I mean, truly, I don't know what that does. You, you saying those things, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's the fact, you know, you're saying it because you feel you can't say it and you feel they can't really do anything about it. And you feel, you know what I'm saying? And you're not going human being. You're not going they get these comments all the time. You're not going. Everybody sexualizes them. Every. I sexualize them. I, I wouldn't like that shit. I don't. I mean, I, 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 I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I think I'm beautiful. I think, but I wouldn't. You know, I know I'm more than my body. I wouldn't want. You know, people to just see me for my body. I, I, mean, I have interests. I, um. I like to draw. I, you know, I, I think I'm funny. I, you know, I express that in some videos, but you know, they don't. They would probably just talk about my body if I did, or... This shit isn't cool, is it? I'm allowing this... horny shit to... control me, I'm, I'm giving it power. I'm, I mean, really, I'm, I mean, I'm not even thinking. I'm not even putting shit in perspective. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, you know, how do we not go there? You know, how do we not go? That's a human being. Go, like, let me put myself in their shoes. Go, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, no, you couldn't sit there and say, I would love it. Because then you aren't putting yourself in their shoes. You're creating this thing and manipulating it in a way to where you would love it. Where it would just be these few times that they do it. And it would be these certain things and these certain people that you would want to say it. That's what you just did. No, but putting yourself in their shoes? That's what you aren't doing. Because they've posted 200 plus videos. And every fucking single one of them. People are sexualizing them. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's, people are sexualizing them. They may post a video not even showing themselves and they're talking about their body. As if that's all they are. You know, I mean, I just, I, I don't think that shit is cool at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and like I said, you know, first sentence, you're so fucking hot. You're pretty. You know what I'm saying? You're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And like, obviously, depending on, you know, certain, you know, type of relationship you have with certain people, like, 
they have certain shit they say or this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? And that's on some, but as far as a stranger relationship, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You're hot, you're pretty every now and then, this, this, and that. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But getting in detail and saying these crazy things and thinking it's funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people who think it's funny and who think it's a joke. You know what I'm saying? And people, for some reason, carry on this joke and, you know what I'm saying? And like, just like I said, you know, with these things and, you know, they, you know, it becomes a trend in a sense, you know, within comments and this, this and that, you know what I'm saying? And, Everybody starts doing it. Everybody starts saying it. And it's like, it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, just like that um, fucking hey, LOL shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all trying to create meanings within meanings like, hey, LOL. Oh, that means that they like you. They think you're cute. They want to, hey, what's up? Like, what the fuck? Like, speak, talk, fucking, like, what the fuck are you doing right now? I'm a fucking human fucking being. I'm not some fucking character in a video game where you click on a certain fucking response and I give you a certain fucking response and I, you know, I don't know. You fucking speak. Talk about what I just posted. I, I don't know. But... That's not fucking, hey, LOL, like, what the fuck is happening? No, I don't fucking know you. No, I don't give a fuck that you think you gonna be with me. This is, like, no. To, no. And this more of would not, would confirm more of me not wanting to even be close with you at all. Like, it's that odd thing that people, for some reason, like, like, when they be like, oh, my gosh, they're, you know, they're 19. The fuck does that mean? Oh, did you? Oh, no. You you thought if they were, if they were 16 that, that y'all would now be together? That this person on the internet that you just saw randomly that you have no fucking idea who they are and they definitely don't know you exist and even if they do now what thought y'all were gonna fucking be together like why even have that mental why even practice that shit why even think that way like what the fuck damn they're 19 I never have a chance with them. Like, like that shit is so toxic, really. You know what I'm saying? That shit is like such odd behavior. You know, once again, that people are trying to just go in a romantic relationship with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, crazy how we control social media and choose to spread hate and negativity. Crazy how we control social media and we choose to spread hate and negativity. Social media is so toxic. The internet is a ruthless place. The internet isn't a safe place. That's fucked. You know, that people say that and people firmly believe that. You know, once again, like I say, you know, they're using the wrong labels. You know, we should definitely get specific, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, this is an environment that humans have created. An unsafe space. A toxic, hateful, 
negative space. And the fact that the ones who created this space see no problem. The fact that they love it, they live off of it, they fucking practice that shit. They, every day they wake up, they fucking make sure they go do they hate. If they, 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 they first hate of the day, they gotta hit their quotas. Like, I really, I don't even know how that works. Like, how do you, like, how do y'all. That, that, that hating, that bashing shit how to, is it like certain, you know in certain people in certain situations, like do y'all search something up and like like what, like how do y'all like like what's y'all target what, what gets y'all going you know what is it that sets off that urge to be toxic to be negative, to hate, what sets it off? Huh? You know, there's something similar when talking about the, huh, back in the day, I wonder what set those fuckers off That made them be that made them be hateful to, to to be negative to. Oh, the shade of people's skin. Racist racism. Oh, dumb fuckers. That's what it was. That's what set them the fuck off. They, they, they hated seeing the niggas. They hated it. I wonder why. They, they weren't doing nothing but just doing them. They was, they couldn't control the, the, the shade of their skin. They were just born in color. I don't know. Hmm. They tried to be kind. They, Some lashed out, sure, but they were they were tired of such disrespect, such. Uh... Now I just wonder why. <laughs> I just wonder why these these new people days. I just wonder why they. They hate these folks on social media. I was wonder why. I was wonder what triggers these folks. I was wonder if it was like back in the day. Is it the shade of people's skin? Is it? Is it a body type? Is it? Is it the hell? Is it? The things they're saying, the things that people are doing with. The sound of someone's voice. I, I just wonder what it is. I just wonder. Foundational shit. Foundational shit. Foundational shit. Once again, the power we hold, we control the trend, what's going on on social media, whatever. Crazy how, crazy, all the companies they like, crazy, all the companies they like, okay, what's our audience doing? What's their slang? Who do they like, etc. Then they start saying shit like understood the assignment, hop on different trends, start working with new people we made famous. Like this shit not just happening. Y'all in control and don't even know it. And don't even know it. 
and don't uh, industry plan oh my gosh no the motherfuckers just made that person famous you know what I'm saying like and who gives a fuck first of all whether it's this 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 and that there's so much corrupt shit going on with the people that you're actually fucking praising. So, listen. You know what I'm saying? But no, there's people who fucking follow this fucking, fucking person. And who keeps up with this person. And who interacts with all of their shit. Just because you don't. There's millions of other people who do. Just because you think they're an industry plant. There's millions of other people who don't. And who just genuinely fuck with them. And companies are going... What is our audience fucking with? What's the new trend? What's the hot thing right now? Oh, it's this fucking person that's skyrocketing on TikTok. We got to get an interview. We got to work with them. Why? Because there's millions of people interacting with them. And they're fresh. And they're new. And people are going to want to know more. We got to hop on that. Because if we hop on it, those people are going to go to us and they're going to see that more than they want. They're going to see these pictures that we just took. They're going to they're gonna fucking want it. Because that's how this shit works. This shit isn't a fucking mystery. It isn't. This shit is a fucking scheme. This shit is, is like, this isn't, this is a game. And it's not on some master code shit. This on some very simple, here are the instructions. This is how it works. That's it. Y'all are fucking y'all up. That. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, listen. Like, y'all don't even fucking understand. If we, if certain people stop fucking themselves up, brother, brother, I don't give a fuck what system. Well, listen, depending, because some shit is fucked where, I mean, some people, I mean, they don't even have, they have very little, they have little to no power because of certain shit, but within this system that we so-called say is fucked and this, this, and that. The power we hold within this motherfucker is crazy, though. And the shit that we could be doing that we're not because we're holding ourselves back and we're loading fucking guns and shooting instead of not giving a fuck about the ammo they just gave y'all. We would be big chilling. Nigga, you don't even understand what the fuck I'm saying right now. We would be chilling. Oh, we would be chilling. And no, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Sure, you know, we'll change it because within our power and what we control, sure. But shit would be i will still be type similar. We would just now understand the power that we have and the control that we have. And we would start fucking using it in a way that will benefit us. Good, positively. You know, I, I you know, but obviously I think Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Let's move away from all this shit. Let's destroy all this shit. The foundations is fucked up. Well, just as far as these, you know, past however many years that everybody been doing this bullshit and we've had control and power for, it is like we could have, but, you know, they didn't really do it, so. I don't post on social media for validation or to act like everything is okay. I post because I want, because I want to, 
and if others enjoy or get something from it, then it's cool. I see them no other than human interactions. It's not a competition on social. It's not for you to compare your life to everyone else. If you don't know how to not compare, work on that. But don't blame social media or other people on it. I don't care if people on social media are being fake to a certain extent. That's on them. Like, what does everyone else's life have to do with everyone else? I could have a cam on 24-7 if I want. What does that have to do with you? You choose to watch. You choose to give me attention. You choose to compare my life with yours. You choose to do all these things. You choose. <laughs> I didn't say you choose at the end, but that shit. <laughs> Last, you choose. That shit was cold. You choose to do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's the, you know, obviously, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't listen. You know what I'm saying? I'm posting, you know what I'm saying? Because I just, I truly, you know what I'm saying? I mean, first, I, I mean, I truly feel, you know, the things that I'm saying, you know, one person sees it, I mean, get something from it, you know what I'm saying? That could change their mental and they could, you know, say it to somebody else or this and that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I mean, just a connection, you know, just a, 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 a human interaction, you know what I'm saying? And I just think that's like the, just the dopest shit, you know what I'm saying? To connect through something. You know, and being able and it being able to be like this and just being able to connect with the, you know, click of a button, you know, it's just, you know, the technology that we were like, whoa, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's definitely huge. You know, but yeah, you know, as far as, you know, foundational, what does my life have to do with anybody else's? What does what I post have to do with anybody else's? You know what I'm saying? And that's as far as people who post, this person post and this person post. This person post has to do nothing with this person post. And you shouldn't be comparing your post to their post. And watchers, you watch this. This is your life. You shouldn't be comparing what you're watching to your life. And you shouldn't be trying to fucking hold them accountable for just showing their life, however the fuck they're showing it, and you're going raw, 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 raw because you don't like your life? You know what I'm saying? Like, if they make you feel this raw, raw, raw shit, deal with this shit, but definitely, why are you looking at they shit? Like, I don't, like, and, like, I guess, you know, that could be one of the things that get y'all. And that some go to hate. But it's like, oh no. You hate your life, so you're gonna go be hateful? Projecting, oh no. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's like, and that shit sounded, that shit sound like this shit was in here. Listen, um, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm, but I'm, I'm crazy as fuck. Listen, but, uh, <laughs> damn, what was, what was your boy going to say? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, I say to a certain extent, just as far as, you know what I'm saying? As far as us on a journey type shit, who gives a fuck if they being fake to whatever extent? Or to a certain extent, this, this, and that. Who gives a fuck? That's them. That's They doing that on themselves and this, this, and that. I don't give a fuck if they look like they living the best life possible. You don't got to go look at that shit. You don't got to go keep up with that shit. You don't got to watch that shit. You don't got to do none of that. You know what I'm saying? And you fucking going and watching all that shit and comparing and then finding out, oh, that was fake, this, this, and that. And then you being like, what? Like, oh, you know, 
Like, I don't even know. Like, I just don't see how that would, like, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, later on, sure, let's, hey, why, why, you know, why are you being fake? Why are you not being true to yourself? This, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? But for you, I feel like that should be more of a, damn, you know, what are they dealing with that they can't be true to themselves, that they, you know, want to be fake, that they want to, you know, show this pretendous life that they want, you know what I'm saying? And like, are as are we as people on you know social media on this and that are we allowing that safe space are we allowing you know this comfortable space where people can just show their life and not negatively judge and not you know what i'm saying and they don't feel they have to show this you know crazy luxury luxurious life and this this and that you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I don't know. But you so hung up on what the fuck they got going on that, one, you still not dealing with your shit. Like, sure, they could be shit in your life that's giving you reasons to not like your life even more, but you don't like your life because you don't like your life. You in control of your life. Are you not? You know what I'm saying? And to a certain extent, you're probably telling yourself you're not. So Now, they throwing numbers out there, categorizing people, dividing people, instilling fear in people, and y'all just fall right into this shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess I was going to say that shit, but... The next note is it. It's like it, it correlates with it. I'm 3% and I'm, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm 3% and I'm scared. I'm Asian and I'm scared. I'm brown and I'm scared. I'm trans and I'm scared. Too many problems to just tackle one at a time. Be kind, be honest, love yourself. It cancels everything else out. First of all, Listen, be kind, be honest, love yourself. It cancels everything out. I will stand by that shit till, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, be kind, be honest, love yourself. It cancels everything out. You know what I'm saying? But just as far as I was saying, you know, now they throwing numbers out there, categorizing people, dividing people, instilling fear in people, and y'all just fall right into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and obviously talking about, you know, they, when they were talking about how many women has been assaulted, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know this and y'all know y'all dealt with it, this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Just because they throw some fucking number at you, now what? Now, now it's bigger? Now it's, it's, it's what? You know what I'm saying? And, 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 you know, all that was was instilling fear in people and this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? And that's just on that. You know what I'm saying? But the huge thing was I'm 3% and I'm scared. I'm Asian and I'm scared. I'm brown and I'm scared. I'm trans and I'm scared. I'm, you know what I'm saying? There's so many I'm this and I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I felt it was, you know, we can't keep doing this. Black Lives Matter. Everybody, this, this, and that. And it's like, I mean, you want to, now what? Now we're living in this what world? 3% these women are now what? Now we're living in this what world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? And where's Black Lives Matter at now? Where's this? You know what I'm saying? Sure, are there still certain people in communities still talking about it, still doing this and that for Black Lives Matter, for Black Lives Matter, for women, for, you know what I'm saying? When the, they was fucking beating up and killing Asians for this COVID shit. We talked about it this and that, but it's like, now what is our world? And sure, are there still people in communities talking, you know what I'm saying? But it's the fact that that shit is like a fucking trend. That that's what the news is for the week. For however long. For... 
You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you today, a brown person They didn't get treated right. They um, they got assaulted by a cop. They uh, they got shot by a cop. I can tell you today that a woman, a girl, a female, a person that looks like a woman, so called, a person that has these breasts, a person that has long hair, a person that has been labeled this and given this list according by people who say this is a woman. They've been assaulted, they've been sexually assaulted verbally and physically. I can tell you today that an Asian was mistreated. Was beat on, was killed. I can tell you that. I can tell you that a human being today was mistreated. was assaulted verbally and physically, was sexually assaulted verbally and physically, was killed. Foundationally, foundationally, it does not matter brown people, women, Asian, it doesn't matter. Foundationally, this shit is happening to people. To people, but still we're so hung up and pushing this fucking black women, Asian, this, that, label, blah, blah, blah. No, bro. Human. A fucking human was killed. A fucking human was sexually assaulted. A fucking human was mistreated by another human. That's it. That is it. I don't give a fuck about all these other labels. I don't give a fuck whether it was the human who was being assaulted, whether it was the human that did the assaulting. I don't give a fuck what labels they associated with. They fucking assault assaulted somebody and somebody got their ass assaulted. I don't give a fuck. See, because just like back in the day, that's a nigga. Well, why are you telling me about a nigga getting beat? That nigga deserved that beating. They did what? That's my people. They did what? Oh, we gonna get their ass. No, no, they not gonna hurt my people. See, someone with the same shade, they called they people. They were told they would get beat. They said ain't nobody gonna hurt my people. See, but someone over there with a different shade. 
That's not they people. They have a different shade. So therefore, they get beat. They ain't got nothing to do with that. That ain't they people. So that Asian over there getting beat. That's not your people, is it? Is it? See, that Asian over there getting beat. Your people said that they started this virus. That Asian deserve to be beat. This is what you're thinking. Y'all don't understand. A woman is supposed to give herself up. You are for me, woman. Your body is to please me whenever I please. Over here, you uh, you over here. You think you think women should bow down to you. You uh, so you see that over there. You you see that person assaulting that woman. Women supposed to bow down. Yes. That bitch deserved to be assaulted. This isn't no fucking master coding shit. This is simple. This is very foundational. This is the way people think. This is what people have done with these fucking labels. This is the power that they give it. This is the power. This is how they allow it to control them. This isn't a surprise. Shit is sad. Social media isn't fake. You're fake. Like, what the fuck? Thought about that shit 50,000 times. You're fake. It's like saying I'm black and I should be scared of every white person. You know, going back into where they were whoever was woofing about the 3% and saying, this is why, you know, you should be scared of every man. You should, you know, when they were categorizing all men, all men, you know, and it was like, you know, why, why is that the message? Why is that the message? Imagine having this baby. Imagine that baby coming out with a certain shade. Imagine that shade being darker. And imagine telling that baby, every lot of shade person you see, you run. You got to be scared of the lot of shades. Do not interact with those lighter shades. And there was a time. 
there was a time But see now, if I had that mindset, I I wouldn't have such beautiful, beautiful interactions with lighter shaded people. So telling a woman, telling a girl that they should fear all men that you should run when you see a man, that you should have no interactions with a man. What about them? What about the men who are, who've done the work, who've evaluated work, changed, grown, who are willing and want to show this care and support, shower this care and support, for a woman, what, what about them? What about these relationships that are available, that are healthy? Why must we disregard those? Why must we pay no attention to those? So you go into your own people of women, of brown people, then what? Then what? You know, I don't, you know, it's so many things that's so fear-based. You know how about you know how about why do we live in so much fear? You know, but like I say, why do we actually, yeah, let me reword that. Why do we live in so much selected fear? See, because we lay down and we, we close our eyes and we allow ourselves to so-called go to sleep. Not knowing if we'll wake up, we, you know, like I said before, we get in a car and expect that we'll make it to our destination. You know, we sit in whatever building we're in and you know we walk around freely and we don't every second we don't go with something falling on us it's because it isn't like it doesn't mean it can't happen. You know, and it's like, we can't tackle one problem at a time. Because another problem will be created within trying to will be created within the time of trying to tackle another problem. You know, and you 
you know, you're constructing something and you're building it on this faulty foundation and every day there's a, there's something wrong there's something that that fucked up that's not working that and you you can't seem to figure it out and then finally they realize it was the foundation and regardless of what they put on top and how hard they tried to build it on or how hard they, you know, and how well they did building what they built on top, it didn't matter because of the foundation. So regardless of what problems we tackle and how well we tackle them and this, this and that, the foundation is it being fixed? Is it being changed? Is it being worked on? It's not even being it's not even being evaluated. You know, and it's, it's, I mean, we see it. At the artist here, it's, it's such similar foundation to way back in the day. Big, big, big businesses, big businesses or certain people don't like to be caught out on what their shit. Don't like to be caught out on on their shit because depending on what it is, they lose money, powerful people, because they don't want to be a part of that business itself. So they either force to fix it or change or silence whoever called them out. huge yeah they lose money you know power people and you know because power people you know they don't want to you know they uh, you know that just shows you how that just showed you what they're all about. You know what I'm saying? Action. And that shows you how corrupt they are and how, you know, nasty and evil they are to a certain extent. You know, and how they prioritize this money bullshit this you know people on their board and this this and that you know what I'm saying and they take it to a certain extent of you know they go what do we do how do we fix this problem you know because they have these people that are calling them and telling them hey you gotta fix this shit or I'm out and when I'm out, my fucking billions are out too. So they go, fuck. We gotta figure this shit out. What do we do? So they go, are we able to fix this? And if we fix it, does that mean we were wrong? Do we act, do we expose ourselves? Who's the person who said this? Can we find that? Let's find them. Can we pay them off? Or do we have to get rid of them? You know, and that's the... You know what I'm saying? Like, 
let me talk to you real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because within certain situations and shit like that, you know, they put out on the news and this, this and that and you know, gang killed this and a gang killed these people and there's deaths rising in certain places. You know what I'm saying? Because those people foundationally are killing but they're killing out in the open. So by them killing out in the open they're laying, they're putting a target on themselves and they're allowing others to, you know, lay with them this is it because they're doing it publicly. But now these businesses, these powerful people, they're killing people foundationally. But they're not doing it publicly. They're doing it behind closed doors. So therefore, it's not on the news. Nobody knows. They're not putting the target on their back. You know, and sure they may not kill, they just make them disappear threaten them and silence them in a certain way. And of course, the people around who know, even if they do know, they're either fool for it or they don't want to be next, do they? This is no master coding. This very simple. This is why they give you all the ammo. This is why they give you all the weapons. This is this is why they do it. And what do y'all do? Y'all load it up and y'all fire the weapon. And now it's all y'all. Now y'all are bad. Now y'all kill people. Now this, 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 and that. Uh, these motherfuckers over here. The number of people they've killed. Man. Oh. And to be exposed. They would spin it some way and people will go. Well, I guess. What can we do? Social media don't discriminate. People do. Social media don't discriminate. People do. You know, and some people will go, you know, well, the app is this, 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 and that. Mm. And did the app create itself? Did the app code itself? Oh. People did it, did they? So when I say social media doesn't discriminate, people do. People do. Once again, social media is just a fucking whatever. It's nothing until we make it something. Whatever that may be.
but people discriminate, you know. Yeah. People discriminate and people who are discriminating act like they don't. People who get discriminated don't really say nothing. Some people don't even know what the fuck discrimination is. People who are on the sidelines and see it don't say nothing. Majority of celebrities don't want to be celebrities. Most are rich by society standard, but don't feel this richness. And most will get that and say they would love it. But after years, it's normal and you're comfortable. The high is worn off. Everybody got you on this pedestal and you're just trying to get off of it because you're tired. That's huge. That's so fucking huge. You know, there's so, well, not, you know, so, you know, some are so just fucked mentally. I mean, to a certain extent, even if they're in a place of maybe some sort of peace, I mean, just dealing with that shit fucks you. You know what I'm saying? And being targeted in the way that they are and I mean, being praised or demonized in the way that they are, I mean, you know, it fucks you, but you know, I just, you know, like I say, I just wish they would take more control of their lives. You know, and really get strategic about shit. Like, you know, and just like, just do shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so many has played into this celebrity role this this is how it has to be this is how I have to do things and it's like no it's just majority of y'all say that you know majority of y'all practice that and just do that so that's what it is but it's like y'all too create can create y'all reality you can set this this and that you know what I'm saying but it's like If y'all play into what these fucking people are creating you to be and creating what celebrity is to be and this is that, then it's like, of course it sucks. You know, but you can't go, oh, I no longer do this, you know, I want to because people on social media, you know, be hateful and say these bad things because people would think this because... You know. You know, I just feel you, you, you know. You can't go there. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is you, bro. Like, fuck this label they gave y'all. Fuck. Fuck this money, like, fuck, like, this show life, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you not in control of your life, you not doing what you want, then this shit they making famous celebrity money out to be is what? You know what I'm saying? Because, listen, you know, like I say, the freedom within money is, like, so fucking huge within this game because it's, like, you can create whatever lifestyle you want. And money is not a worry. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, if you're not trying to 
you know, if you're on your, doing your own type shit or something like that, I mean, because, listen, some people get involved with certain shit, get tied to certain shit, make obligation with certain people, and, yeah, they make their lives difficult, and, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't know. You know, when you make a certain amount of money, bro, you don't have to keep trying to find ways to make money. Keep trying to, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you can't fucking live off a meal. Then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, then that's, that's you, bro. I don't know, bro. So much within that shit. Most of these celebrities fake they death, but I don't want to get into that. How do y'all look at pictures and start comparing yourself to them? Like what makes y'all mind do that? Like, when y'all like somebody and they say they like so-and-so, why do y'all try to be like them or compare yourself to them? Like, okay, you like them. They don't like you. That shit hurts. But thinking you're the problem should hurt you even more. Bringing down yourself, basing your worth off someone else? Like, come on. You should say, hold up. What am I doing? Like, catch yourself. Get out of that habit. Stop disrespecting yourself like that. Love yourself. Big. You know what I'm saying? That shit should hurt you even more. Beating yourself the fuck up over what? And then it's like, then what? Now that you to beat you the fuck up, then what? What, did you deserve it? Because you told yourself that you weren't good enough. I don't give a fuck if they was the kindest and just said they're not interested. I don't give a fuck if they told you you was ugly as fuck and you're not good enough. You can't control them. But you, who you can control, you told yourself that you wasn't good enough. You beat you the fuck up. You disrespected yourself. That's on you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, bro. Like, I mean, you know, that's a great note. You know what I'm saying? Just as far as... You know, understanding, like... Motherfuckers not gonna like you for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, back to that... That's y'all mental shit. That's crazy that, that, that that's y'all mental that y'all think. That motherfuckers is, like, everybody you so-called, like, for the most part, is supposed to like you for the most part. Like, this should be a surprise that some motherfuckers not gonna like you for the most part. Like, yeah, bro. Newsflash, like, that's why I just say that shit. You know, but, you know, that comparing shit is, you know, huge, because... You know. Motherfuckers do do that. You know, what is it about them that's so whatever? And it's just like, you're already fucking gone. You know, thinking that. Can't do that. Y'all will follow a trend no matter what. And it's so frightening. Really. The way y'all do blindly follow trends. 
the way y'all convince y'all selves that y'all fuck with something because it is a trend, that y'all think something is cool because it is a trend. Foundationally, this is the trend, so... I gotta think it's cool. I gotta think it's this, this, and that because I want to be part of the wave. This, this, and that. You know, and like I say, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy how much, you know, power and control, you know, the fact that we control the trends and the fact that people will follow trends and we choose stupid trends. You know what I'm saying? You know, and a trend, you know, isn't all just, you know, negative, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, I mean, I say, but, you know, and it's like a trend can start off, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like that was, you know, that's just how everyone got the attention of it. You know what I'm saying? But a, a trend can break off and no longer be a trend and continue macro wise. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, I truly believe that. You know what I'm saying? Because just where you start at doesn't mean that's who you are or what, you know, this, this, and that, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't always have to be, you know, this trend and, you know what I'm saying? But that's just a label or whatever, but it's like, I mean, kindness, working together, loving yourself, you know what I'm saying? Being honest, I mean, you know, we make that trend, we make that macro, we strive for that shit. It's like, yeah, at first, maybe that's a way to manipulate and, you know, because people will just do it because that's the trend, but it's like, people are doing it. You know what I'm saying? Then, like, later on, okay, now let's get that to be your foundation. Not, this is the trend, this is, and then... I, on top is be kind, this is that. So of course you're doing on top, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, cause we just, you know, just need to get people to see it and the feeling and to be doing it and to be practicing it and seeing like, hey, this shit could be so much better. We could all be doing it so much better. We could, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just think that shit would be so huge. You know, and people, I don't know. Music is so fucking cool, bro. Are you just being able to express yourself in that way? And, you know, just the format of, you know, a, a so-called song or something like. To, you know, put what you're feeling and what you created into you know, a certain time period and for it to kind of loop for others to hear it, but I don't know, for it to all come together, you know, it's a crazy concept. You know, I just like, really like the way, you know, like it works together, you know what I'm saying? You know, and like, if it's not working together, you can hear that it's not working together. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I 
it's like you can tell the difference when you hear they're not working together and it's off and when it's like that seems off but then you're like oh no they're working together you know what i'm saying it's just something different and it's just you know because it doesn't always have to be this steady thing it doesn't always have to be the same you know what i'm saying but it's like you know it just really goes to show you know how important working together can be you know what i'm saying I mean, even, you know, as humans, you know, in a band or something like that, if they aren't working together, they're all on that tempo, they aren't, you know what I'm saying, you you hear it, you know what I'm saying, with them, they hear it, and it kind of messes them up, and this, this, or that, you know what I'm saying, and it's kind of like, you know, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, that's why they practice, you know what I'm saying, that's why they, you know, work you know, change, grow, you know, this isn't some, oh, they just, you know, can sing this way, they can just play this way, they can play together so well, they can be in harmony, you know, it's, you know, it's none of that bullshit, they, they fucking practice, you know, they, intensively, they, it's, I don't know, it's cool. Evaluate, work, change, grow. Evaluate, work, change, grow.